What's good guys, welcome back to Ron's Rise News, welcome back to the channel, and welcome back to another video where today I present to you the 2021 Porsche 911 GT3 Cup. Now next to the 992 Porsche 911 GT3 Street Car is the next generation Cup car that has kept fans on the edge of their seats. As a top selling racing car in the world, the German automaker certainly has big shoes to fill, but they, they deliver. Now at first for the motorsports division, the one make racing machine will not only be released to competitors in the Porsche Mobile One Super Cup, but also to customer teams in the National Carrera Cups held in Germany, France, Asia, Benelux, and North America. Now as a springboard series that's consistently proven its success over the years, it's incredibly exciting to see such a substantial update. Now there are obviously many improvements that come to the car, but one leap comes in the power department. It still uses the same four liter, six cylinder horizontally opposed engine as its predecessor, but in this unit it has been pumped up to produce 510 horsepower, 375 kilowatts over the previous 485 horsepower and 361 kilowatts. Now more grunt is obviously fantastic, but this can also use synthetic fuels significantly lowering the CO2 emissions and peers will be relieved to know that it keeps the same exhaust configuration producing one of the great noises in motorsports. Now along with the power, there are also big improvements to the aerodynamics and mechanical grip. As a first for the GT3 Cup, it sits on the wider body of the 911 Turbo. Now with the rear measuring out to 1,902 millimeters in width, it exceeds the width of the previous model by 28 millimeters. And the same can be said at the front axle, which stands on 1,920 millimeters. And the new setup allows for a 12 inch wider rim at the front and a 13 inch at the back, a very typical configuration for GT racing. Now another noticeable upgrade comes with the interior, which looks to be very heavily inspired by the 911 GT3R, the biggest brother of the cup car. Now along with completely revised ergonomics, a new cockpit comes with a large color display, illuminated controls, and a new steering wheel made of carbon fiber and reinforced plastic. Now it's clear that the design team wanted the race car drivers of tomorrow to feel special when they hop in. Now along with the pursuit of more performance, the German automaker was committed to making the car more cost effective for teams to run. As a development series, the economic side is paramount, giving smaller teams just as much of a chance as the bigger teams. Now, as a new car will be used in the 2021 series of cup racing worldwide, delivery to teams will begin in February of next year, and it will be ready to race for 225,000 euros or $272,511. So what do you guys think about this GT3 Cup car that has came in and really made a storm for 2021? Let me know down in the comments below. And if you guys did enjoy the video today, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Give it a thumbs up, will help get it up in the rankings. More people can see it and we can talk about the big improvements to the 2021 Porsche 911 GT3 Cup. Now with that said, in case you guys want to further help support the channel, always check the links down below. We have a one-time link donation for my PayPal, Cash App, and Venmo. Just in case you guys want to donate a dollar or two to the channel, you can also check out my patreon I'll be a monthly subscriber there and support there or check out the ron's rise merch we get ron's rise hoodies long sleeve shirts stickers everything ron's rise check that out as well i also have a facebook snapchat instagram tiktok see everything i'm posting car memes pictures and videos that doesn't always make it here to the channel and make sure you guys subscribe but click the notification bell so you don't miss one news video now with that said you guys be blessed have a great day we'll talk to you guys in the next ron's rise news video peace